welcome back. Do you remember Alex Hirsch? Well, I'm sitting here with Alex Hirsch's father, who is a notable theater and television actor who currently appears on Numbers on CBS. Great to be here. So I wanted to ask a little bit about Alex. What was he like as a little boy? He was never a child. <laughs> I mean, I wish he was. He couldn't go to sleep. I would take him for a ride just because he couldn't go to sleep. And uh, I'd play a CD but at that time. I guess it was an 8-track. <laughs> um, and I played The Who. The Who? Yeah. It, it was the only rock opera that I knew. It was well known. And I, there was a couple of songs that I really liked on it. And I would sing to him this one song. So he, he would just sort of like absorb everything. And I'd say, do you like that? And then he'd be sleeping and I'd take him home. Okay, so the next time we played, maybe about a few months later, he sang the entire album, all the notes. And I don't know the album. I only knew one song. <laughs> but he sang the entire album back to me. And then he'd say things like, do you hear that? And he was talking about an instrument in the background. He was picking it out. So I knew all of a sudden this kid already had strange ability to actually pick out all the stuff that's happening in music. Mystery to me, so I can't. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so at that point, did you, that's the point that you realized that you need to get him instruments and get yes. him involved in music. We went sort of like on trips. And uh, at one time, I don't know if you know who Shel Silverstein is. Of course Shel I do. He wrote this children's book. Of books. course, there's a Shel. bear in the Frigidaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the missing piece, I don't know if you know. So we went to uh, bed that night, and in the middle of the night, Alex got up and played. He wasn't playing anything we knew, mm -hmm. he was making it up. He was simply making up everything. And I'm sitting there and falling asleep and thinking, oh, that's what you do with the piano. And then that next morning, Shell said, what was that you were playing last night? And he said, I don't know, I was just playing. So it's kind of like Can you... Can you repeat it? The answer was... Probably not. <laughs> right. So he's, he was the kind of kid where you'd leave him alone in a room with an instrument, and you'd come back, and he was playing Bach, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, now he plays a lot of stuff. The thing is, what, I, I tried to get him to uh, uh, music lessons. Mm -hmm. I tried to tell him, when he was seven years old, mm -hmm. took him to a uh, studio, and, they, and they said, I said, teach him. And, it, and, and I'd, I'd come back, and I'd say, but he's, he's playing, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't want to learn music. Hmm. What? He doesn't want to learn notes. He doesn't want to learn anything. He wants to improvise. So, it, so how does he play? Does he hear something and he plays it? So hmm. Whole songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so he was I don't want to call him an idiot savant. <laughs> <laughs> but we know that they do those things. <laughs> well, did he pick up guitar and piano and drums then all at the same time? Was he singing as well? Or did he kind of up, one at a time? The piano. the piano led him to the guitar. Mm -hmm. And then I think they're, he's ambidextrous with with each and other oh, wow. both. I've always been amazed at, uh, at such a young age that anybody could all of a sudden see the whole thing in front of them. It's like learning language. If you don't know the language, if you're not a baby, like when I learned French in, in high school, uh, it was from the outside in, right? You started learning grammar mm -hmm. and how to speak and then you read the book and you saw the words, you know, the vocabulary. Well, it's just something different. This, like, seems, this seems to be something from the inside out. It seems to be an absorbed something or other. Music was like the prime uh, bubble in the head, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. if, it takes play, if it takes a place in your head, a lot of other stuff either doesn't or is behind it. This was an expression. And what about writing lyrics? Um, I know that he was very closely attached to kind of the music and, and the notes and the sounds that he was hearing. What about the lyrics and starting to write lyrics? He pulls lyrics from his life because I think he's more concerned with feelings than any, almost anything else because he's gone through a life of uh, extreme feelings. I believe that he probably wanted to be, if you can imagine a free spirit truly being free and floating on the music and playing all about the joy of it. And yet, if a life is not like that, it becomes writing about the other part, mm -hmm. right? Many musicians and poets you know, really draw on that for their inspiration. Yeah, you know, you know, Bob Dylan. Mm -hmm. But it was about a particular private, or, or I should say, nearby yourself matter. Right, kind of a private moment that you're inviting people yeah. into. Yeah, yeah. Well, what about um, your hopes for Alex and his career? You know, one says it should have already happened. Uh, the industry is now uh, kind of like uh, going through a very difficult time because the pirating of all of the things mm -hmm. you can get off uh, the internet and, and, and the whole business is like um, the opportunities, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure, are, are slimmer. You and I want to be actors, right? So we know we, there's a way to go. Mm -hmm. 
if we can only, you know, find a little opportunity and call somebody and have an agent do something. Mm -hmm. There's no true path. That. There's no true path no. for a musician. They kind of have to find their own way, yeah. put themselves out there and it's hope that their way. music speaks to someone. Yeah. I know that in 2009, Alec's going to have a total of three albums out. And I wanted you to tell me if you kind of saw a change between the first album and as he kind of went along, or maybe the, the music he made uh, before until now. Or have, you, has you, have you seen the music grow with him? It's more uh, melodic. I think it's more uh, lyric-driven. Mm -hmm. But that's where it's going. I think he's going more professional than anything else. But that particular private way. It'll take a song. It'll take that, that one that really catches. The radio song. Thank you so much, Judd, for coming uh, and, and talking to us today. It was an absolute pleasure. It was mine. We're going to be seeing Alex Hirsch's new music video later on the show, so stay tuned.